Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I want to make a video why I think that EOS will be recession proof and not in the way that a lot of people think. They may think that all oh, the price is down so much so it can't be worth anything or it doesn't have any value or any type of thing like that. But I want to read something from Vitalik from about a week ago and he said an underrated reason to use public blockchains is precisely the fact that the infrastructure has been so relentlessly stress tested against all kinds of attacks and if you think about that that's really important because EOS has over four years of um, history dealing with all different types of attacks you gotta think that the protocol publicly launched globally there was people from all over the globe simultaneously uh, on zoom calls working together to launch the network uh, in unison as the first group of block producers to be able to kick start and get the um, network up and running so there was multiple levels of chances and opportunities for catastrophic failure that never materialized and the fact that it never materialized in and of itself inherently makes EOS that much more robust. Every time that it doesn't happen, it's like galvanizing the entire protocol in a new layer and level of protection and um, ability to resist um, attacks. At the protocol level, you have to understand, this is the protocol level, this is where the block producers, the transactions, the signatures, all that kind of stuff, any type of uh, action you would do on a wallet, those kind of things. Yes, there will still be scams on top of EOS built into applications that then have single points of failure and are being sometimes mal maliciously designed uh, in a way that would harm your money in some type of way. So you gotta understand that we're talking base layer and every time it goes through a new milestone and gets a, you know, another uh, thing added on to it, it just becomes that much more robust, that much more appealing. We see things like Solana and um, all these other just super, like, they're worse than Ethereum. Like all these quote unquote third generation blockchains are really just like blockchain 0.5. Like they never even reached a full blockchain. They're stopping. They can't even run a full like sequence of events without like having to come to a complete standstill, reorganize, basically be centralized and have a tiny group of people try to fix the problem and get it back running. It's like you can't play hot potato between uh, centralization and decentralization that's going to not operate in the real world and uh, it's to me that's a sign that EOS and the global infrastructure and the new system will be recession proof and that you may not see that reflect reflected in the price just yet but at some point that will have um, intrinsic value in and of itself that you can cling on to because you know the entire system now and in the future and whenever there's a system will have to be based entirely off faith and trust and all that fun stuff that is the reason why if you don't have a third party trust or you don't need a third party to trust that now you actually have decentralization and open network and freedom and equality and all that stuff stems out of a strong base layer protocol that can't be hacked and has the ability to resist uh, even the most um, harsh economic conditions such as like a recession and still operate at a level that would benefit you know the entire uh, network and so I really see EOS as the only protocol outside of being just money like Bitcoin that can operate as a public 
blockchain and be recession proof and I don't see anybody else making those types of talks nobody else speaking about EOS at this type of level we're at a very very high level of EOS thoughts and people you know we're literally light years ahead and I just don't uh, think people are concentrating on what's really important they're focused on some other stuff I just want to put that out there Stop a baker out